Hey, Georgies! I'm Greg Elliott, and welcome to Screen Rant. It Chapter 2 is out in theaters, and it brings the story of the Losers Club and their battle with Pennywise the Dancing Clown to a conclusion that strays a bit from, but still stays true to, the spirit of Stephen King's source material. It Chapter 2 is a long, ambitious film that doesn't always work, but its ending is a satisfying close to the story, and here's how it goes down. Be warned, there are major spoilers ahead, and with that out of the way, let's break down what happens in the ending of It Chapter 2. So no big surprise, the Losers Club is eventually able to defeat Pennywise. After collecting all of their individual tokens, the six of them head back to the abandoned house on Kneebolt Street and go down into the sewers to perform the Ritual of Chewed. But it doesn't work because Mike neglected to mention that the Native Americans who originally attempted the ritual were all killed, but he insists that the key is to believe that it'll work. So Pennywise comes after them again as this giant spider-clown hybrid thing, and Mike eventually realizes that the best way to beat Pennywise is for them to stop being scared of him, so they stand up to him and taunt him, shrinking him down in size, and then Bill rips out Pennywise's heart and crushes it, apparently stopping him once and for all. This comes at a cost though, and unfortunately, Eddie is killed by Pennywise while saving Richie. It's hinted at throughout the movie that Richie's actually gay and was in love with Eddie, and this is seemingly confirmed at the end when Richie adds the letter E to the letter R that he carved on a fence as a kid. Now this is sweet, but it sucks because Richie kept that secret with him this whole life, and now Eddie's gone. So what happens to the rest of the losers after defeating Pennywise? Well, it's a mostly happy ending. Richie has lost Eddie, but he's no longer living in fear and is able to truly accept who he is. Ben and Beverly officially get together after she realizes that he was the one that wrote that poem about her. And Bill starts writing a new novel, this time one he hopes will actually have a good ending. And Mike is finally able to leave Derry and moves to Florida. And I'm sure you're wondering, how does the movie's ending differ from the books? Well, the movie is pretty faithful, but the book is 1,100 pages, so there are bound to be some changes here and there, even after splitting it up over two films and chapter two being nearly three hours long. Most of the changes come to the climax. Audra, Bill's wife, plays a much bigger role in the book. She's captured by Pennywise, and Bill eventually saves her, but in the movie, you really only see her at the beginning. The ritual of Chute is actually pretty different, too. In the book, Bill enters its mind through the deadlights, and then Richie goes in to rescue him and complete the ritual. Eddie also dies a little differently in the book. He still attempts to save his friends by spraying Pennywise with his inhaler, but it bites his arm off and he bleeds out and dies. In the book, they also don't just have to defeat Spider Clown it, but also all of the eggs that it laid. And all of this happens while Derry's being flooded by the worst storm it's ever seen. And in the book, the loser's memories begin to fade when they leave town again, but not in the movie where, as Mike says, there's more worth remembering than forgetting. Otherwise, a number of the basic endpoints, Ben and Beverly, Richie going back to California, Bill eventually leaving Derry again too, are roughly the same. Stephen King has been called out for not being able to write a good ending, which is something the movie actually references explicitly with the character of Bill, and Stephen King's cameo as the shopkeeper, where he tells Bill that he's read his book and didn't like the ending. Thankfully, some of the book's weirder elements didn't make it to the big screen, specifically that orgy scene where young Beverly has sex with all the boys. Yeah, that happened. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown of It Chapter 2's ending, and make sure to keep coming back to Screen Rant for more stuff like this. I'm Greg Elliott, and stay out of the sewers.